Good morning, Ada Sparks here with the Word of Hope. This morning I want to talk about being angry. Frustrated, angry, however you want to call it, mad, um, whatever your choice word is. You know, normally I'm a pretty chill person, cool as a cucumber, laid back. But about twice a year I get angry and it makes up for all the rest of the time. <laughs> And I often say, when I get mad, you better find cover quick because I am mad. Well, the Bible talks about being angry, talks about being frustrated. And the truth is that it's a natural emotion. The anger, if we really think about it and we want to look at the psychology of it, Anger is a safe emotion. It's socially acceptable. Um, it's safe for us to be angry. But what's really going on when we're angry is that usually it's one of two things. We're either hurt, our feelings have been hurt, or we're scared, we're afraid, All right? And so if you are angry about something, or you, someone is angry with you, sometimes it's good to just stop and kind of do that little self-assessment and figure out what's really going on here. But if you do find yourself in a place that you are angry, one, I would say, don't make a decision in anger. It's often a decision that you will regret. Because the Bible says here in Ephesians 4 and 26, be angry. If you're angry, just be angry, it's okay. If you're frustrated, it's natural. Sometimes you're gonna be frustrated. So be angry, but sin not. Don't do something in that anger that you're going to regret. And then the second part of that verse says, and don't let the sun go down on your wrath. And I personally believe that what this scripture is saying is don't let it become a part of you. Don't let this anger and this frustration be something that just becomes a part of who you are and just begins to live in your house. Some people believe that that scripture means you got to stay up all night long and hash it out. I personally don't ascribe to that. I think that if you stay up late at night trying to solve a problem, then more emotions are going to boil up. And sometimes you just need to take that time out and come back whenever your emotions have calmed down. But what it really is so important is that we don't let that anger become a part of who we are. Be angry. Take a deep breath. Are you hurt? Are you scared? What's really going on here? Don't make a decision about it. Don't mouth off to somebody about it. Just accept it. Look at what's really going on here and then move forward about it. Let God speak to you about what's going on. And don't sin. Don't use that anger as justification to do something that you know is not okay. All right. Well, I don't know how hopeful that is because this is supposed to be a word of hope. But it's what's on my heart today. God bless. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk about something a little more happy. God bless.